know a bad feeling about this fella. I mean, being stood up in court must be like me and drink to him. He might have a short fuse. Let's so hope it's shorter than Craig's. I'm a good officer. I went the extra mile on a case, and now I'm being hung out to dry for it. By going the uh, extra mile? Do you mean plying a teenager with alcohol and having sexual intercourse with her? No. Wasn't she vulnerable? And weren't you meant to be protecting her? This job, the pressure. Sometimes you need to let off steam. Sometimes you do things you regret. OK? A pretty girl came on to me. How old is your eldest daughter? Sergeant Clifton. Yeah, 17. I've done an 18-hour shift. Road traffic accident. Nasty. She looked older. I was weak. It's the biggest regret of my life. I bet it is. You fancy yourself as a bit of a maverick, don't you, Sergeant Clifton? 20 years of my life, I've protected the public. On a normal working day, I get spat at, sworn at, lied to, abused. There's houses I'm sent to where I have to wipe my feet on the way out. I stare scum in the face so decent people like you can sleep easy in your beds. And people like you can holiday in Barbados. And this is the thanks I get. Well, then again, you might be guilty. Me standing in this box, it's a farce. Never mind what it's costing, the evidence. Well, it's embarrassing. You've taken the word of a teenage fantasist with a grudge against her ex, and you've torn my life apart. My reputation, my... Family? Hmm? All of it's in tatters. Not give evidence. <laughs> Are you crazy? Hear me out. No, after half of Manchester's dragged my name through the mud. You think the jury won't read guilt into that? We won't play it that way. What other way is there? We say you've no case to answer. The evidence has been weak, the work of a jealous liar. There's been enough waste of valuable court time and assets, and you won't dignify it with a response. What's the real reason? Come on, let me have it. Don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust. It's your demeanour. Not cuddly enough. <laughs> One can't fake humility. Humility? I am angry, Claire. This is a miscarriage of justice. I want to shout it from the rooftops. And for 250 quid an hour, I thought you'd want to shout it too. You're paying for my professional advice and my years of experience of juries. <laughs> You're wrong. No, I'm not going quietly. Now, if you don't like it, I'll find another barrister. Someone with balls. I wouldn't advise they that at this rate. Accept it. I am an innocent man. I get my moment in the witness box. <sighs> we can't hold off any longer. Look, 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 I, I, I... I swear by almighty God, that the evidence that I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and uh, nothing but the truth. I thought it was going to be cocky. I thought they'd see straight through him. They will. Look at him, Mr. Nice Guy. This is going to be Oscar winning. Coronation.